All right, Luke Shore. From one Luke it's to funny, another. It's funny. His his shirt looks like a motive shirt, <laughs> but but it also looks like a rock climbing shirt. He he. Well, he says he's at a move sport. Yeah. I believe they are also a wave. Maybe I I could be mistaken. Uh, Luke, also a Texas Ninja League champion. Believe the finals. At least of one of them have been here. If not here, definitely some of their competitions. Yes. Luke moving nice and, and gracefully through the sidewinder. And he will be the first of our preteen male competitors to attempt these ex lachets. They have been brutal so far, but Luke makes the catch. He's out of there with a great time. 55 seconds. Your top placements, I think, are not going to come down to completing this course. I think it's definitely going to come down to time. 55 seconds. This is a great time to ask our chat here. Any predictions? I see Mel in the chat. You guys always have some good predictions. Brian, you had some great predictions earlier. What do you think was going to be our fastest time through this placement course? Great work out of Luke Shore here. Luke Shore, one of our two athletes that defeated the entire placement course, looks to do the same on the challenge course. Now this course is a little bit more power endurance than it is technique, but certainly you have to have the technique in order to get through it. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of power moves. Starting with this first one up to the mallet, which Luke executes great Kind of reminiscent of like a mid to late 2010s stage two. Of course, Nick Fordney, a student in the game and somebody who, if I'm not mistaken, has been on one of those stage twos. Yeah, a challenge course. I think we were drawing this parallel uh, recently. A, a challenge course is very close to a stage two. And Luke is uh, clearly making easy work of this, this stage two, although he is getting into the tougher half of the challenge course here. Hasn't used any retries. Hopefully isn't gonna have to use any retries on this UFO because the UFO move in and of itself isn't gonna tax you. It's just going through this captain's wheel more than once really saps your energy. Now Luke, the first athlete to match hands on each spoke at the more old school technique but it works going for the ufo gets it although i'm a little bit worried about this grab i think if he dismounts here we're going to be okay that was some vice grip right there because you were right those hands were not nicely placed i'll say well, he's through the balance and now on to the throwback final obstacle of this course minute 16 that is faster than caleb so he has top four but a buzzer would for sure put him on the podium, and at this rate would provisionally put him into first. So is he going to go for the throw? Looks like he's going for the semi-static move here, going to the front. It works for him. This is going to be our gonna... third buzzer of the day. Goes for the skip, gets it the is. skip. And in record time at that, 2.14, Luke Shore matches his feet on the placement course, clears the challenge course. He's going to be on the podium. He's going to Ferox, and he's currently in first place. What a phenomenal run for Luke, and also just so great to see him repeat his success from the placement course. That's consistency, and that's what you want to see from your athletes going into the finals a oh, phenomenal performance from Luke. It'll be great to see him taking on some of our other strong athletes at Ferox in November.